How to make audio visualizer in DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to watch this video until the end so you don't make any mistakes. Now in order for us to get started, we are here on our DaVinci Resolve. I have added my music here and then I'm just going to go ahead and open the effects and then I'm going to add a fusion composition in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the duration is the same as our audio. After doing so, we're going to head over to Fusion. Okay, now that we are here in the Fusion, we're just going to go ahead and add a rectangle. So this is background one. I'm going to go ahead and add another one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it here on the top. And I'm just going to link background two to one in order for us to create a merge. For the merge, we're going to go ahead and link this with media out. Now background two, I'm going to go ahead and click it. And then I'm going to click this rectangle here for us to create a mask later on. I'm going to click background two, and then we're going to go ahead and change color. So you can choose whatever color you want to use in here. I'm just going to use this one here, click OK. And then for the rectangle, we're going to go ahead and adjust this one in order for us to create somehow a bar just like so. So this is what we are going to be using for later. Now this bar has a rectangular shape, so we're going to go ahead and adjust the radius here um in order for it to somehow form off okay this one here somehow round and then we're also going to go ahead and put it beside so i'm just going to go ahead and drag it somewhere around here now we're going to duplicate this one here so i'm going to click the background and then i'm going to hit shift and then space in order for us to have this one now go ahead and type here duplicate and you should be able to see this one so go ahead and click it and then add that note in there all right now that we have added the duplicate let's go ahead and set this one somewhere around um let's say 15. Let's go ahead and check it. I'm just going to go ahead and change the center value here. Okay, I think that is going to be okay. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is change this one here, change the height of this one. So we're going to go over to rectangle, click it, and then here on the height, I'm going to right click it. And then we're going to go ahead and click modify with, and then we're going to choose MIDI extractor. So now we have the MIDI extractor here. So we're going to go ahead and try this one. So the way we can do this one is we are going to go over to a website. So in order for us to convert our MP3 to MIDI file, I want you to head over to bear file converter and just go ahead and convert it from here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one in order for me to upload one. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one right here. So this is my file, I believe. After doing so, I'm going to go ahead and click convert. And once it's converted, go ahead and click the download button. So this time it's going to be a MIDI file. There you go. And then we can go back to our DaVinci Resolve. And here on the MIDI file, go ahead and click browse. And then you should see this one. So go ahead and upload it. Now that we have added our MIDI file, we're going to go over to combine events. I'm going to click this one. And then I'm going to choose some. Now, as you can see, there has to be a movement but it's some of them are actually too much so we're going to go ahead and adjust the result scale so my value that i'm gonna be doing here is going to be 0.2 let's try to check let's also go ahead and check 0 0.1 all right, so I think 0 0.15 is going to be okay. But yeah, even if doing that, you can see that the movement is just basically the same. So we're going to go over to our duplicate to change that. Here for the offset, let's go ahead and change this one to like uh, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. Okay, there you go. I'm just going to go ahead and settle at 0 0.3. Now after doing that one, let's go back here to our edit page and let's go ahead and check it out. All right, there you go. And that is how to make audio visualizer in DaVinci Resolve.